Hello, this is Trevor Lewis, and this is another video from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab. In this video, we're going to use X Design, and we're going to use the pattern tools. So, the pattern tools have moved around a little bit if you're familiar with SolidWorks. We have the mirror pattern tool here, but we're going to focus mostly on the linear pattern and the circular pattern. By default, linear patterns on top. Um, we have a, you can see we have a sketch of a line, and we have an extrusion. Um, the defaults are set up here. If I want to start off with features to pattern, I'm going to choose the object I want to make patterns of. So if I choose that, it says extrude one there. And now I have to set a direction. At least one direction has to be set for a linear pattern tool. So I can use an edge or I, of an object, or I can use a line like this. I'm going to use this edge right here. And it makes a copy. Um, I can say how many copies I want. And I can set it a couple of different ways. So I've got instant spacing. So that means that these two are 150 millimeters apart. And there's two of them because it says two here. But if I just go three, four, I can make more. Um, I can also set it by pattern length. So now it says that this is 450 millimeters long. So if I set this to 400, it moves them all a little bit closer together. And so now the whole length is 400 instead of 400 in between each. That's what instant spacing would do. To make this a real array, instead of just going like a line, if I want to make this a grid, I need a second direction. So I can expand here and choose my second direction. I'm going to go down. So there's my second direction. Um, I'm set to instant spacing. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger so that you can see. And I could add rows and columns. So there's, that's the basics of how to make uh, a linear pattern of, of features. Let me show you some more advanced things. If I scroll down here and go to advanced, um, there's a bunch of different options here, but the one that, that I think is most interesting for me is skip instances. If I do that, then I can say I don't want this one or this one. So it allows me to do a pattern but have certain ones turned off. But let me also show you that there's actually three modes. So array is what I would think of as a standard linear pattern where you have rows and columns, but you can also go around the outside or you can just go a row and a column like that. So th that's basically a quick way to turn off certain instances. Okay, so that's my linear pattern tool, check mark to finish like usual. Um, the other kind of pattern that we can do is a circular pattern. So I'm gonna do a circular pattern here like this. I'm going to select my feature again, pattern axis. I could choose one of the edges of my feature. So let's choose, I'm going to choose this edge right here. And you can see it made copies around that edge. Okay. Um, let's go, I'm going to use this axis actually. So I can go around in a circle. So now what's happened here is instance angle is still the, the default, which can be a little confusing in a circular pattern because if I increase the number here, it can't look it doesn't look like anything different is happening because every 90 degrees I'm making a copy when there's only room for four that way around in a circle and if you add if you make the number bigger it doesn't mean that there's room for more it just makes the copies over the top of the copies you already have so that's why I like pattern angle probably is the better one to have here and by default that goes all the way 360 degrees around and that way, when you increase or decrease, it automatically sets the scale, the the um, the angle in between, to be an equal portion of that 360 degrees. So if you're doing this to try and make these all together, you depending on how big your object is, they'll start to merge at some point. So that is the way you can use the circular pattern tool.